Hello. Today we're going to be working on the violin and viola parts for the Harry Potter, Magic of Harry Potter medley from measures 16 through 43. This is a really tricky part for violins and violas and I'm going to go ahead and go through all three parts, so the two violin parts and the viola part in the same video and um, I want you to play your part. As I am playing your part I want you to really work hard on trying to tune to me and we're going to go a little bit under tempo and then as I am playing the other parts you can go ahead and play your part along with it so you can practice tuning the harmonies. These are quite close harmonies and each part is very chromatic. So it's really, really important that we're being very careful to tune the notes. Now, um, we're gonna start with the first violin part. You play whatever part you're playing along with me and you're welcome to go through this video as many times as you need to. For all three parts, they are recommending a fingering that uses quite a bit of half position. And I am giving you permission to not use that fingering. I think it's actually gonna be more in tune for most of us if we just stay in first position and then we uh, bring the first finger back for the low first finger and then bring it back up for the normal first finger. Um, I think for most of us that's just going to be more in tune and um, playing it in half position certainly does work too but it does kind of funky things with your finger pattern and uh, my experience is that trying to play all these chromatic notes in half position is not going to be as successful as playing most of them in um, in first position and um, at the tempo that this is ultimately going to go it's not too fast to make that shift and because the notes are staccato you're, you should be able to mask that shift for the first finger quite easily. So the first violin part I think is the easiest here because this is the melody that most of us know. Um, it's easier to learn the melody than the harmony because the melody is what kind of sticks in your ear. So um, don't forget two sharps in the key signature and uh, we do have a lot of accidentals in this one as well. Okay here we go. This is measure 16. One, two, three, four. So that's how it should sound. That was a little bit under tempo. Probably the ultimate tempo that we're going to go is more like and we're going to want to really make sure those staccato notes sound nice and light. Um, I don't think we need to try and play them off the string. I think just keeping them nice and light and on the string is going to be fine. But please practice it slowly, maybe with a tuner, uh, to really refine the pitch before you try and speed up the tempo. And it doesn't need to go that fast. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the second violin part. Okay, if you're playing first violin, you're welcome to play your part along with uh, me playing the second violin part. Okay, starting again at measure 16. First note is D. One, two, three, four.
So that's what the second violin part should sound like. And again, be very careful with the tuning. This one does not sound like much of a melody by itself. So that just makes it a lot more challenging to tune. Um, next, we'll move on to the viola part. And again, we're starting at measure 16. One, two, three, four. Okay, and again, I just did most of it in first position, doing the low first finger when necessary, and then bringing it right back up. And there's nothing wrong with doing the suggested half position fingering. It's also a fine fingering. It's just, I think, a little bit harder at this tempo, and um, it doesn't go fast enough that you really need to have a separate finger uh, for those low first finger notes. And now let's go ahead and listen to all three parts together. Please go even slower if you need to and be very, very careful to tune the notes. That's what will make this passage sound its best. It's challenging, but you can do it. Good luck.